For those who suffer grievous sadness and anxiety, I gift him those comforting verses from the Quran. Listen with a ready heart. Allah the Almighty says, أَلَا إِنَّ أَوْلِيَاءَ اللَّهِ لَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَكَانُوا يَتَّقُونَ لَهُمُ الْبُشْرَى فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ لَا تَبْدِيلَ لِكَلِمَاتِ اللَّهِ most certainly, as for those allies of Allah, there is no fear concerning them, nor will they grieve. Those who believed and were fearful to Allah, for them is the good tidings and the worldly life as well as the hereafter. No change is there in Allah's words of decree. That is the greatest attainment. For those who lost their beloved ones, children. In Islam, by the way, there's a good news for the faithful mother. That there is no mother that lost three children of her but they will be her barrier from the fire of the Day of Judgment. They asked the Prophet, what about those who have two? He said, even who lost. They asked the Prophet, what about those who lost two? He said, even those who lost two. Companions of the Prophet said, we were ashamed to ask him what about one. <laughs> but they didn't. So, there's a beautiful verse in this Qur'an regarding this. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu sta'inu bis sabri wa salah inna allaha ma'as sabirin O you who have believed, seek help through patience and prayer. Indeed, Allah is with those who are patient. وَلَا تَقُولُوا لِمَنْ يُقْتَلُ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَمْوَاتِ بَلْ أَحْيَاءٌ وَلَكِنْ لَا تَشْعُرُونَ And do not say about those who are killed in the way of Allah, for the cause of Allah, they are dead. But rather, they are alive while you do not perceive it. وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقُصٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ And we will surely be testing you with something of fear and hunger and a loss of wealth and lives and fruits. But... Give the patient ones good news. الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا إن لله وإن إليه راجعون. Those whom, whenever disaster strikes them, they say, "Indeed, we belong to Allah, and to Him is our return." And like what some people say, why God? Look at the reward. For those when they are stroken with calamity, disaster, they say, to Allah we belong for sure. And to Him for sure is our return. What is the reward of those? أُولَٰئِكَ عَلَيْهِمْ صَلَوَاتٌ مِّن رَبِّهِمْ وَرَحْمَةٌ those are the ones upon whom are the blessings from Allah, their Lord and mercy. There are blessings and mercy from Allah to those people. When they say that beautiful word, to Allah we belong and to him is our return. And they are the rightly guided ones. In another verse, 
almost similar to it. وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ الَّذِينَ قُتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَمْوَاتًا بَلْ أَحْيَاءٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ يُرْزَقُونَ And never think of those who have been killed in the cause of Allah are dead. But rather they are alive with their Lord, receiving provision. فَرِحِينَ بِمَا آتَاهُمُ اللَّهُ مِن فَضْلِهِ وَيَسْتَبْشِرُونَ بِالَّذِينَ لَمْ يَلْحَقُوا بِهِمْ مِنْ خَلْفِهِمْ Rejoicing in what Allah has bestowed upon them of His bounty. And they receive good tidings about those who to be martyred after them, who have not yet joined them, that there is no fear concerning them, nor should they be grieving. يَسْتَبْشِرُونَ بِنِعْمَةٍ مِّنَ اللَّهِ وَفَضْلٍ وَأَنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُضِيعُ أَجْرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ They receive good tidings of favor from their Lord and bounty and of the fact that Allah does not allow the reward of believers to be lost. How beautiful and comforting are those kinds of verses that pours peace and calmness and tranquility in the heart. Following lusts, adultery, they cause more grievous and sadness in the heart, narrowness in the chest. Let's read another verse. قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Say, O oh my servants who have transgressed against themselves by sinning, do not despair of the mercy of Allah. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. Indeed, it is He who is the forgiving, the merciful. But it doesn't mean sin, it's on you to sin, and it's on Allah to forgive, that's all. No. But I should be encouraging you for something else. What is it? Return and repentance to your Lord and submit to Him before the punishment comes upon you. Then you won't be helped. وَاتَّبِعُهُ أَحْسَنَ مَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكُمْ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَأْتِيَكُمُ الْعَذَابُ بَغْتَةً وَأَنْتُمْ لَا تَشْعُرُونَ And follow the best of what was revealed to you from your Lord. In the Quran. Before the punishment comes upon you suddenly while you do not perceive. Saying that because some people say, I sinned, I repented, but I sinned again. Then I repented, then I sinned. How long should I be repenting from what I repeatedly sin? So, what is the solution? is to stop repenting, but keep sinning? What if you know that tomorrow you're going to die? Mm, your repentance is going to be mm, absolute repentance, because you know that you're going to die tomorrow. But you don't know when you're going to die. Then you should make an absolute truthful repentance, a cause of fear that death may come to you suddenly while you are not in the state of repentance. You know what? means if you did not repent, that means you are insisting, persisting in the sin you committed. Do you want to die while you are on that status? Hmm. Therefore, look at the coming ayat verses.
واتبعوه أحسن ما أنزل إليكم من ربكم من قبل أن يأتيكم العذاب بغتة وأنتم لا تشعرون And follow the best of what was revealed to you from your Lord before the punishment comes upon you suddenly while you do not perceive. At the Day of Judgment, all people want to repent. All people want to become worshippers. All people are ready to be righteous. But it's too late. Accepting the repentance is while you are alive, healthy. When the moment of death comes, and it touches your throat and you say I repent here there is no repentance accepted let's continue the verses <laughs> rush to repentance before a soul should say, death comes, or after death. Oh, how great is my regret over what I neglected in regard to Allah, and that I was among the mockers. Or lest it should say, if only Allah had guided me, I would have been among the righteous. أو تقول حين ترى العذاب لو أن لي كرة فأكون من المحسنين. Or lest it say when it sees the punishment, if only I had another turn. That means to life, to be returned to life, to make it better. If I only had another return, so I could be among the doers of good. That's the system. No return when you die. But yes, there had come to you my verses, but you denied them, and you are arrogant, and you are among the disbelievers. وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ تَرَى الَّذِينَ كَذَبُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ أُجُوهُهُمْ مُسْوَدَّةٌ أَلَيْسَ فِي جَهَنَّمَ مَثْوًا لِلْمُتَكَبِّرِينَ And on the day of resurrection you will see those who lied about Allah with their faces darkened. Isn't there in hell a residence for the arrogance? وَيُنَجِّ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْا بِمَفَازَتِهِمْ لَا يَمَسُّهُمُ السُّوءُ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ الله خالق كل شيء وهو على كل شيء وكيل And Allah will save those who feared Him by their attainment. No evil will touch them nor they will grieve. Allah is the creator of all things and he is over all things disposers of affairs. To him belong the keys of the heavens and the earth and they who disbelieve in the verses of Allah. It is those who are the losers. قُلْ أَفَغَيْرَ اللَّهِ تَأْمُرُونِّي أَعْبُدُ أَيُّهَا الْجَاهِلُونَ Is it other than Allah that you order me to worship, O people of ignorance? وَلَقَدْ أُوحِيَ إِلَيْكَ وَإِلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ لَإِنْ أَشْرَكْتَ لَيَحْبَطَنَّ عَمَلُكَ وَلَتَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ بَلِ اللَّهَ فَعَبُدُ وَكُمْ مِنَ الشَّاكِرِينَ And it was already revealed to you and to those who had preceded you, those who passed before you, that if you associate anything as a partner with Allah, your good works of charity, donations, etc., 
your work would be surely become worthless and you would surely be among the losers. Rather, you should worship Allah and be among the grateful ones. These are beautiful, comforting verses that generate tranquility after anxiety and peace after fear. Take care of Salaam Alaikum.